Let's uh, welcome in the next three VFLs we have. I'll start on this Ooh. end for once. We got Daniel Hood VFL. We got VFL Sterling Hinton. You got any voice left, Sterling? I got a whole lot left, baby. <laughs> yes, right. Oh, I should know. You sang Rocky Top in my face. That's right. And right here, Ollie Lane. Ollie, who of course takes part in our Saturday kickoff show. And I thought, well, how many people here experience beating Alabama? I guess Will did. I thought we need somebody who experienced yeah. the one from two years ago. So, Ollie, you are here. Thanks for being here, man. Yeah. Matter of fact, since you're in, I'm going to let you start. This segment, we quickly run through best player on the, on the field last night. We run through worst decision by either team, coach, player, whatever. And then we do biggest disappointment last night. So I'm going to start with you, best player on the field. Yeah, I mean, you could, you could take that into a lot of different directions. I think if you look offensively, obviously your best player is Dylan Sampson. You know, hang your hat on that guy. He's going to get you all the yards you need to. But if you look in the scope of the game, I think if you look at the best player, I mean, the guy that won the game for you, Will Brooks, is uh, who I would uh, aim at as the guy to be the one that's the uh, the hero of the game for us, per se, because uh, – Went out and had a great game and uh, got the ceiling interception yeah. to win the game for us. So. Eight tackles, tackle for loss, interception, had the pick, had the pick six earlier this year. Yeah. He's among the team leaders mm-hmm. in tackles for the season. Get that man a scholarship. <laughs> <laughs> Hope he's getting the NIL you know, to the, take uh, care of it. You were going to go Will Brooks too, I, weren't you? I was going to, and I looked up his bio. One of my fun stats about Will, Bo- <laughs> Will Brooks as he graduated with a degree in finance, wears the same socks in every game. Wow. Really? That's, where, that's, where okay. the ma- that's where the magic for Will Brooks is coming from. It's around. working. Well, <laughs> yeah. Who's your best player on the field now? Yeah, yeah. I'll go Jerron McCoy. I said it after the Oklahoma game when he played out, you know, and we all saw the incredible one-handed pick in the Ooh. south end zone Ooh. last week. You're talking about a young 19-year-old kid out there making plays like that. I don't know why teams keep targeting this kid. But I don't like yeah. When Tony Tony no, held his own with, with one, one of the, the best, best receivers in the country. Best young receivers mm-hmm. in the country. And – Hats off to Coach Martinez, what they're doing with the staff. Will yes. Brooks being a great example. Jerron McCoy. And those dudes, Ricky Gibson the thirds coming mm-hmm. in there. God. A few weeks ago on the show, we were talking about McCoy, and it was early on. I said, I don't know. The, the, the secondary looks improved. I don't know that you've got a shutdown corner. I know now. I know now. You've got a shutdown corner. There's, their man and coverage looks better than zone. We'll talk about that uh, yeah. coming up. Sterling, best player on the field. I, can I cut him in half? Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. I'm going with the two guys on the outside. I'm going to brew McCoy and throw it. Yeah. Those guys played precision football yesterday, and they made some stalk blocks for Samson to get those mm-hmm. extra yards. Yeah. I mean, those guys were playing good receiver football yesterday. When they got the ball, they got some rack. Yeah. So I, I, I enjoyed watching those guys play yesterday. And for, for all the talk of Nico overthrowing guys, there were several drop passes yesterday. Not by Brew McCoy and Dante Thorne. Oh, those guys are sure-handed. Balling, baby. Balling. I'd, I'd like to see them find more ways to get those to the ball. All right. Worst decision. Worst decision. I've got one. I'll start on this one. I didn't do a best player. I'll give you a worst decision. Boo Carter at the end of that game, <laughs> oh, jawing yeah. and then taking a swing. I don't know if you saw the highlight. He took a swing. Could have been a game-turning flag if they had seen it and thrown it. Hmm. I thought that was, you got to grow up. You know, he's young. You got to teach, you got to grow him up, but that was not a smart decision at all. I hope Willie Martinez lets (laughs) you know about it. I'm certain he will. Worst decisions. You know, my worst decision, which uh, I like to choose something positive here, Gaston Moore coming in. Positive worst decision? Yeah, yeah, positive (laughs) worst decision. Gaston Moore comes in, shoot or shoot, throws it up, arm Uh, cold and everything, throws an interception there in the first half. But, man, I love the outcome because I think we solidified Nico as our starting quarterback for the rest of the year. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. So. Yeah, I, I felt sorry for more there. That was, that was kind of brutal. It, though. I loved it, I loved it. Like, you're a senior You got a bad decision? Did you guys see a bad decision? Uh, I, I didn't see a bad decision. I didn't see nothing. Nothing, nothing more than <laughs> what, Well, what about – it could be the other team as well. What about uh, Kalen DeBoer deciding the fourth and 22? Now, he said mm-hmm. afterwards, if we punt it there – we've got all three timeouts, but if we punt it – and we stop them, we're just going to get another long punt back and have to go the length of the field anyway. I get that. But the trick was, if you were fourth and seven, Mm -hmm. I'd be okay with that. You were fourth and 22. Your odds of pulling a fourth and 20, I think your odds were better. Kick it to UT, hope that they fumble, stumble, do something. I thought that was a bad decision. Yeah, because, I mean, at least you're giving your chance an opportunity to force them out of field goal range. But uh, now, I mean, you're just kind of hoping to play the clock with them. I'll give you another worst decision. Or you can go. No, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> all the Alabama coaches saying that kneeling wasn't that loud. Well, mm-hmm. You know, also on Twitter all week was, oh, it's just like rain. It's just like this. And right? that was, you know, that was, there was uh, one of those was AI. One of them was fake. They, somebody put, 
Yeah. Here's my list. Here's, Here's my, my worst decision. Yeah. Listen to Twitter. Your yeah. worst decision? Yeah. Social media. Yeah. Don't trust it. Don't uh, do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, unless you're following me. Uh, <laughs> but all I do is tease the show. All right. Biggest disappointment last night. You and I shared one. Hmm. Yeah. I think I think you've got a biggest dis- I, My biggest disappointment was what happened after the game. Yeah. I mean, look. I understand the excitement of beating Alabama. It's, it's a lot of fun, and everybody's, you know, it's highly anticipated. But at some point, you know, Bama now is we're on the same level, the same tier as them. We don't need to be rushing, storming the field, yeah. tearing goalposts down. I know it's so much fun to take the goalpost around the strip and bring it around Knoxville. But at some point in time, we got to realize that, hey, we're Tennessee football. We belong on this stadium, on this uh, level a playing field with everybody. I mean, when you see it, when people beat us now, they're starting to rush their fields and tear down their goalposts. So, I mean, when we start beating these highly top 10 teams, it's uh, expected. It's not a uh, special treat anymore. So That's pretty good, Ollie, because I wrote down, at some point, need to start acting like you expect to beat Alabama. It's two out of three, two in a row at home. Party outside. Don't rush the field. You're Tennessee. You don't need to do this don't anymore. Allow this. You got to stop it. Give them the truth of the situation. The, 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 the truth of the situation is act like you're. Well, you know, it, it, the Maryville play, College. Long as the players act like they expect to win, the fans they're coming to kneeling for an exciting event. Now we tried to stop them. Uh-huh. I was there stopping everyone, and they didn't. But some other people jumped. <laughs> Yeah. That, that it may not have been students. Then the students saw them. I turned around okay. and they they went. But that 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 happened, and I'm just thankful no one got hurt. And they hey, as long as they do, no one gets hurt, and it's not well, a habitual you, thing. Well, what if somebody gets hurt the next time doing it? Well, we don't. Well, That'll well, be a bad idea. Well, to do we, it? No, no, I don't want anybody getting hurt. Well, I know <laughs> that. I'm just saying, if it's a good idea to do it, if nobody <laughs> gets hurt, I, I never said it was a good idea. I just said it happened, <laughs> and no one got hurt. I never said it was a good <laughs> idea. Was it? I, I, I was, would I would want to, if if. When's the last time Alabama tore down their goalpost for you? Well, I'd stop. Well, Give, I, that's kind of kissing their butts is the way I look at it. I'd stop that. But that's me. Well, Daniel, well, you like it. You like well, anything fans do, so go for well, it. Well, no, no. I love what fans do. But this was a situation where I thought this uh, from – I wasn't at the game, so you may be able to tell me different. Than that. But it looked like it was started by the recruits. And <laughs> like I, I just said it. I know I know I know the student section did not start it. I don't want to say who started, but it was not the student section. We had them held. But when it happened, it happened. No one we gotta got get hurt. your break. We've gone over on this cool. one. All right, cool. So different difference of opinion. I would I would want to act like I was happy you said that because I, I knew I'd be the bad guy if I said it. So here's a here's a recent vol that said it. You guys disagree. All right, when we come back. The pass game still wildly inconsistent. Is it fixable this season? We'll discuss. Come on back.